Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to write tests for swiping right to left and check whether the task is completed or not. And then we'll write another test from left to right and see if the task is deleted or not. So let's go to our home test and here we'll create a group swipe task and here we'll have two tests basically which will be left to right as complete and here we'll say right to left to delete so we can use the skip to basically skip that test while running it this has come very handy when you have a lot of edge cases in mind and you want to write it down on a notepad or something like that instead of that you can just write it down all those main function with the description here and then mark all them as a skip and just remove the skip for the test which you want to test at that moment so you can able to focus on one test at a time and also you know what are the all other edge cases you want to write later so basically in order to left to right mark option we need to have at least one task on the screen so that at least we can swipe so what i'll do is we have already a test for it which basically verify task one like task one in the list which is this show task item list i'll copy here and paste it and what it does is is use the fake app database already which provide this task one and android already so this just saved me a lot of time on creating the same fake value again so instead of finding here we want to have a swipe left to right on task one we'll figure out this later how we can do this but the important thing here is to figure out after swapping this what we are going to verify so what we can do is we can just one way would be to copy here and verify that this widget does not exist because when we swipe it from here it will get removed so if i swipe here it will get removed here so that is the one test i can write but the problem is that the similar thing happens when you delete as well so how do you differentiate between both the verification if we do find nothing it works same for swiping left to right for delete and it works also same for complete so we need a different mechanism to identify both differently so let's figure out instead of from a ui element what actual method it should call so i'll just remove this we'll try to verify this if i state so what we'll do here is we'll go to our home screen and here on the dismiss swipe we'll try to figure out what action it's been performing and just verify that state so here it's just removing task list here but the important thing here is it's calling the database update task status with complete when you swipe left to right so we need to verify that this method is being called when we swipe left to right now since we are faking this database how we can verify that if this method is being called or not so for example here what we can do is we can what i need to i need to create an instance of this first just create an instance here and what we are going to do is fake database and then we'll ask for a task status which we're expecting task dot completed but here the task status is not there it's a fake state which we are going to verify but it's not there so we need to create that state so first we'll create a field variable inside fake app database here will be a task status if we run this test and if we are able to swipe it and then if we run this it will still be null because currently we have not defined any value here so what we'll do here is we'll just override a method which is being called on swipe left to right right to left 
so here the method is being called is update task status so we're going to come here in home test and we are going to override update task status now since it's required a future value i'll just return future dot value and what we are going to do here is we'll just take the status whatever coming and we'll save into status so what we are doing here is whenever this method is called we are getting the state and saving it here and then we are verifying here that whenever a swipe happen this test should have a completed status so the advantage of fake here is that you can store the state this is a state and here you are calling updated task status you can even if you require to return some fake value you can return it here but you can also verify that this status has been saved here and verify that it is expected as a completed here after swiping it left to right so here is the task status now if we run this it will fail obviously because it's null because we are not performing swipe left to right on task one hence it's failing now we need to perform the drag gesture in flutter test they provide an api called drag so so if you see the flutter already provided an api for basic drag and enter text so if we go to the drag it will perform a drag gesture on the screen based on your offset provided and you can quick that offset based on what kind of swipe you want to do do you want to swipe left from right right to left top to bottom like pinch in pinch out many things you can play around with the drag in this example is say that swipes the item to dismiss it it shows the example that how you can use a drag and find a dismissible widget and then you can perform the drag on that widget so what we can do is we will copy paste that here so what basically this tester is doing is it's dragging the dismissible widget uh, from here this offset basically defines the point on your screen where you want to have those gesture perform so these are the point x y offset point defined which will translate into left to right swipe which we don't want to do we want to have it to right to left from here to here we want to mark this as a complete and my bad this should be right to left and this should be left to right to delete now if you are good at maths you will able to figure out how this works even you can just google it how to do a swipe left to right you will figure out that you can just have this minus sign here and it will perform right to left swipe here to here if you want to do any different kind of gesture just try to play around with this offset and you'll able to get that gesture which you are needing for that test so now let's just run this and now we are getting task as a null because um, we are not pumping it here because whenever you do a, some UI operation you need to pump it. So you see now we are test passed because this task status has been called with a completed. So this is how the, the state is stored here and then we can verify that here. One thing you need to careful about this state in a fake is that you don't share the state across multiple tests because if you do that it will become a flaky because one test might override the value of another and uh, the test become very flaky. So avoid that and try to have a, a separate instance like fake app database for each test so that it will have a fresh state for that specific test zone. Now let's just write a test for left to right to delete so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove this and then i'm really going to copy this similar thing and in order to do a left to right we'll just change it here to minus which we will do a left left to right and if we run this it's going to fail because now we are doing a left to right but it's supposed to be deleted and it won't be updating the status so basically it's doing a right thing but we are verifying the wrong thing here so we just need to fix that we just need to verify that if the method for the delete of that task has been called so if you go and just to check that if you go into home screen and then if we come to this uh, dismissible and 
earlier we found that we called the update task status but for delete we called a delete task status with task id so what we need to do is we need to verify the task id coming here is the one which we are actually swiping so it will verify that okay the delete task has been called and the operation has been performed accordingly so what we can do is uh, we can go to the home test and here i can have another test called deleted task id which should be a one so if i create this one i'll just create a field here just make it proper here and it will be int and now we need to store this value whenever the deleted task is being called so we'll just override the deleted task method here we'll return the same future value and here we are going to save the deleted task id into task id now whenever this left to right swipe happens it should have a deleted task id one because this method will be called so if we run this test it failed because it's basically a null and we are expecting one now why does this happen so this happened because we are not providing any id here so if you are looking here we are having a title and project id but we don't have any id here so i'll just what you'll do i'll just here add test desk id is equal to one two so at least we can verify that the one two has been called here so i'll just change it to one two here and then i'll just rerun the test so now the test is passed we'll just run our both test here to see if adding a id does not fail any of the test and just we'll make sure that we run all our tests because we make a change in the task id of a fake so we'll see that all our test is passing so now we have our test for swipe gesture you can play around with this api uh, just to have your the desired gesture there is also a drag until api which basically gives you scroll something until you find something for example in a list if you have a 10 item where 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and there is some item which is in below you just want to just drag below until you find that item so in that case this api is also helpful it does the same thing just scroll it until you find the given item so there are different ways to you know have that gesture so yeah uh, we have able to write the test so we'll check the coverage now coverage and see how much we have covered the code so far so i'll just run the coverage here and then i'll just generate the file so here it's just 25 so if we come to this page basically earlier it was 71.70.1 percent and i'll just refresh it with the new one you'll see now it's 81.4 percent basically whatever the swipe gesture which we were not part of that coverage earlier this is this is being covered now in the coverage so now we have 81.4 percent of coverage i think in order to refactor the home screen i think this is a very good number we can start with but i think there are still some thing which we can test basically like on press we can test the navigation here uh, which will improve our coverage a lot better yeah in the next video we'll cover how we can write the test for navigation uh, to conclude just be cautious about the state you are using in the fake try to have an independent isolated fake or for each test because if you shared fake state across the test then the test might get flaky because the order of test is not defined so one might override the other state of that fake so try to have an isolated state for each uh, test another thing is while doing this gesture you might come across that you don't know what the size of screen is so based on that you need to define what kind of the size of screen you want to do a gesture on here for example the screen is way more bigger than mobile so that's why we are using 500 here if you have defined the smaller screen size then you need to set offset accordingly else you will be just you know tapping outside the zone of that space so yeah thank you and we'll see you in the next video
So if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.